Like, I wonder if that would be legal. I don't think it would be. Oh! <laughs> That's the only bad thing about using downwards thrusters. So, yeah, you can see it working back there. Oh, it's working. That is cool. Hit the ramp. Hit the ramp. Wow! That worked pretty good. <laughs> uh, buttons like this, and then you have your... Uh-oh, that might have been too much. Nope, 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 nope. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we're going to be checking out some epic viewer creations. Now I want to thank you guys for sending all the awesome stuff to the channel. It's been a bit overwhelming since the last episode because it did so well that people started sending a ton of things. So it's going to take me a little bit to filter through some of these creations, but I picked out some pretty awesome creations to show you here today. So we're going to do that. Uh, remember, if you want to download any of these creations, I'll have the workshops in the description below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's jump right into these creations. Oh boy, we've got some pretty cool stuff here. I guess I should go ahead and mention that you still can send stuff to the channel. I'll flash my email up on screen. I take world files, I take workshop links, or if you just want to comment it uh, down below. Uh, I'll also check it out that way. I don't feature everything, but I try to feature the stuff that I think you guys would like to see on the channel. So, anyways, let's go ahead and, hmm, these are all really cool, but pistons have been all the rage as of recent, so I think we need to start off with a piston-powered vehicle. Now, we had one of these last viewer creation episodes. It was made by Mr. Croca, and it was an extremely awesome uh, piston-powered car. But, I got sent another one, and this one uses a completely different mechanism, so let's go ahead and go to the uh, description here. Uh, this is by Henry. Now, if you recall the name Henry, Henry has sent us, I believe, quite a few houses and structures, but I don't think he's ever sent us a car. So, this is his Piston Boxer Car version 1. Uh, this has no mods on it. It's just got a really neat mechanism here in the back, so we're going to check this thing out. Now, the uh, last creation, or the last piston car, had a single arm. It would drive just one wheel. Uh, this one's got a whole mess of pistons back here. I think it's, what, four? One, two, three, four? It's got these sensors, too. Uh, from what I'm gathering, when I see this thing work, uh, this whole center column here spins, and that's what powers the rear back wheels, and it's just timed out with these pistons to continuously uh, roll around. Now, I'm still trying to figure out, I'm assuming when the sensors hit a certain point, that's when it tells uh, one of the pistons to actually activate, I believe. It uh, looks like the sensors are connected into a logic gate, so it looks like we have two AND gates back here. Uh, here's a timer, that's actually a, I mean, a controller, that's not set, I mean, I'm trying to figure out, and maybe it's just the way it's set up here, uh, maybe we should just go ahead and watch it drive, and I can probably try to explain it a little bit better. So. The uh, one key is, oh, one key is to go, two keys the lights, the one key is the going part, so let's watch it drive here. That is nutty. Yeah, that's pretty crazy looking. This thing's actually got quite a bit of pickup on it. That's surprising. So, yeah, you can see it working back there. Oh, it's working. That is cool. I need to see what those pistons are set at. It doesn't look like they're extending, but maybe two blocks at the most. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So... As you know, a lot of piston vehicles don't have brakes or anything. It's just driving the vehicle along. Uh, so there's really nothing I can do with that. Uh, does this have suspension on it? Actually, it does. It has uh, one of those weird arm suspensions. Looks like on the front and the rear. Oh, we are stuck on a rock here. Got to be careful about these vehicles, too. If you leave the button on, these will go away from you. So let's go ahead and put that there. Does it have a rear suspension? I don't think it does. I think it's just driving off that middle bar that goes through. Yeah, you can see it going through right there. So let's go ahead and give this another go here. That's neat. Uh, that's almost mesmerizing. I can sit there and watch something like this work. It's always really neat to see like mechanical type things and creations, mechanical vehicles, even some structures. When you see some of these fact factories and stuff that people create in Scrap Mechanic, it's always just astounding to sit there and just watch it. I mean, I don't know if that makes me weird that I can sit there and watch machinery go all day, or uh, maybe it makes me something else. <laughs> I don't really know. But yeah, this is definitely an awesome creation. You can see it going here. Uh, you can see it kind of timing out. I can see the uh, logic gates flashing back and forth, back and forth. 
So yeah, not bad. Uh, it's got some decent speed. I still think it's going to get a little bit crazy when people start using the uh, Durf modded pistons because I know they have some really, really excessive speed on some of them. So we'll probably be getting some really fast race cars soon here in Scrap Mechanic. I'm going to like to see how those are actually handled uh, knowing that you don't have brakes or anything. So somebody's going to have to come up with a braking system uh, to work with the pistons. Uh, maybe you can like reverse them real quick and have them try to stop the vehicle. I'm not really sure, but... Yeah, definitely an awesome creation. I, I want to thank Henry for sending this to the channel. Uh, check out his workshop below. And let's go move on to the next creation. Alright, so it is time for the next creation. And I must say, this is the most heavily modded creation I have ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. This creation requires, I believe, like 8 or 9 mods in order to spawn it. It's pretty insane, it uses a lot of Durf mods, uses a lot of Lord Payne mods, and then there's a couple other extra mod packs that I've never heard of before. But, I, I didn't think I was going to actually spawn this, but the thumbnail and everything looks so cool, I was like, I need to check this thing out. So, this is called the Vicious 4x4. Uh, it's made by Fiji? I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's like a trophy truck, uh, it's got off-roading capabilities, check, drift, check mega jump we like that check uh and then it goes into a different language maybe that is is that german uh so yeah this saying <laughs> oh this is a lot here uh let's see you got more I, I don't i can't read this uh, do we have a english uh i don't think so oh actually kind of does no never mind all right so this one's we're gonna have to just jump in and see what happens here now i want to show you guys check the spider web out on this that is, that's beyond me. I don't know what's going on here. We've got some weird suspension setup going on. There's a lot of extra parts. There's even engines that I've never seen before. I think these might be some sort of superpowered derf engines. And when you drop this thing off a lift, the uh, suspension extends there. So, yeah, this is going to be something. Let's go ahead and open up the side door here. There's a lot of detail in this thing. You can see that it's, a, it's got like a whole cage back here. It looks like maybe a fuel tank. It's even got this little netting. I actually like that. I think that might be a Lord Payne part. Uh, let's hop in. What's the inside look like? Oh, dude, that is cool. That feels nice and compact. It's like a little racer, so pretty excited about this one. Let's go ahead and hit the one key here. Even the door's got a lot of, a lot of detail. Look at that. It's got an inside handle, a little vent. It's even got some paint, like a mark on that. Is that an extra panel? Oh, it is. Wow, that is detailed. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, let's see, the two key is the hood. Oh, you can see what's under... Oh, what is going on under the hood? That looks like some extra parts there. Maybe some uh, Lord Payne's additional parts. Looks like the paint tool. You get like a battery in there. That's pretty cool. So we've got that. Uh, let's see, the three key looks like it might be some lights. Yep, front headlights. Oh, it's got some additional, maybe some high beams here. Those are sweet. Uh, five key is uh, your hazard lights. Okay. That's pretty cool. I actually like the way those uh, brake lights look in the back. Uh, what else we got? And we got this key here. That is... That's a horn. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of crazy sounding. Alright, so there's no buttons that actually interact with the suspension, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, boy. Okay, this thing's a little bit laggy, and I understand why there's a ton of bearings going on. But this thing is so fast! Like... How are you supposed to drive this? Alright, let's try, let's try getting going here. Uh, here we go. This thing is ridiculously fast. Like, I thought, hey, maybe we'll chunk this down the mega ramp. I don't think that's gonna work. Wow! Okay, uh, I don't know how we're gonna control this. This would be good for maybe... Actually, this course, it might work on it. This little natural terrain course. It's pretty wide. I know you're gonna need a fairly wide course. I'm figuring out why this thing's called Vicious. There we go. We're going to kind of see if we can drift around this just a bit, see if it'll hook. Ah, this is pretty cool. Even though it's running at probably, if I had to guess, maybe right around 15 to 20 frames. Uh, it's a cool creation. I don't know. I'm assuming it's the bearings that are causing it to lag. Uh, supposedly, Scrap Mechanic just had an update that actually relieved or actually fixed somewhat the uh, suspension lag that we were getting. Uh, but we really need to do something about this bearing lag that I'm seeing because, yeah, this is... This isn't undrivable, I'll, I'll give it that, but it is definitely a little glitchy, a little little uh, laggy, but definitely it's cool. I like the creation a whole lot. 
I think if I uh, despawned a couple more vehicles here, this would probably give us a couple extra frames. But yeah, it's uh, definitely awesome. I like the whole kind of cambered in wheels. I like the suspension, how it pokes out. So when you get air, like all the wheels droop down and they kind of droop out. Uh, that is, uh, that's awesome. I like this a whole lot. Uh, pretty heavily modded, like I said. Uh, the most modded creation I have ever seen. It took me like two tries to get all the mods in in order to spawn this thing. But uh, definitely from a visual standpoint, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I love the way it looks. It's just a uh, pretty cool futuristic off-roader. We're going to go backwards here. That thing gets insane amount of air, even in reverse. <laughs> That's almost stupid. That's that's awesome. Okay, I feel like we need to jump something. I don't think we're gonna hit the mega ramp, but uh, let's go try. I'm gonna go try to find a natural jump real quick, and just we'll just hit it full on and just see how much air we can get in this thing. All right, we're coming up on something that's gonna give us a little bit of air here. Let's see. Gotta avoid the trees. Here we go. <laughs> I like how it doesn't lag when you get up in the air. It's like the uh, suspension and all the bearings are not moving anymore, and it just relieves itself. It's kind of funny to see that in Scrap Mechanic. But yeah, that is definitely an awesome creation. I really can't pronounce the name, or at least I don't think I'm saying it right, but uh, definitely thanks for letting me see this creation. Uh, if you want to check out his workshop, it will be in the description. Does that have working brake lights? How do I get those to activate? I, I, I'm going forward and backwards, and they activate every once in a while, but it doesn't seem like I can get them to come on consistently. There it goes. I guess when it's completely stopped. Yeah, they're trying to work there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for sending that, and let's go check out the next creation. Okay, so I was sent two creations here. I've got one that's a sci-fi hyper jet. We will attempt to fly this here in a second. And when I say attempt, I do mean attempt. I'm terrible at flying things. But we also have this sci-fi race crawl buggy. This is by ACA Man or ACA Man. We'll call him that. Uh, it's an all-terrain racer crawler. It uh, looks like you can switch between a race mode and a crawling mode. It's got downward thrust. Uh, uses some mods here. Uh, it's actually, I can probably explain it a little easier once you see it. Because this is actually a, a very neat looking vehicle. I don't know why I'm getting sent a lot of futuristic off-roaders or sci-fi off-roaders, but uh, this is also, it's just really cool looking. Uh, this is another one of those creations that's got a lot of free bearings in the suspension in the front. I don't really know how people figure this thing out and how to build these. Maybe these are somewhat based on real uh, suspension parts or suspension setups. But yeah, you see a lot of free bearings. He's got a little bit of cambered out uh, wheels here in the front. It all actually bounces up and down off this front mechanism, but it's also got some uh, suspension parts. So you've got the two here. Actually, it's got... Wow, it's got a lot, actually. I was looking at it, I was like, man, there's a lot of suspension. You've got five suspension parts. So you've got the ones on the wheels, Get the ones on the arms here, and you've got one, I guess, for the whole front section to balance up and down on right there. I'm assuming it's the same, looks pretty much like the same setup in the back. You've got some backwards thrusters, or I guess these are like downforce thrusters here and in the front. Uh, let's crawl into this thing. That is a little seat. Wow. Uh, that, that might be a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, no, it looks like he fits in there actually pretty good. So, what does this look like from the cockpit? Oh, this is kind of cool. This is another one of those little cozy seats. You've got that. Uh, might want to add a little bit more roll bar. It seems like my head might be a little too far out. But other than that, let's see what we can do here. So I'm assuming that's rock crawling mode, which that's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of my concept off-roaders. Oh, OK, I don't know what just happened there. So this is race mode. That's off-road mode. And these are downwards thrusters. I'm assuming you'd want to use these for whoa. What the heck? Look at that. The whole body shifts over. It's like it's dancing. That's kind of cool. Okay, so let's get going. Whoa, okay, this is another fast vehicle. It's apparently got some thrusters hooked up to it. Oh, that is... That's stable. That is nice. That almost feels like it's turning off a suspension glitch, too. I don't think it is, actually. I don't know. I'm going to have to lift it up one more time on a lift and see what's going on here, but... That's cool. Okay, let's watch it go over the bounci bounciness. <laughs> Maybe I should, uh... Move. I should probably move up the uh, suspension going over that. Going over the whoops section there. Okay, so definitely got the speed. It's definitely got the handling. Uh, real quick, while I'm thinking about it, does it have a suspension glitch in it? It might not. Uh, let's see. Not seeing anything that looks like it's turning. I think it's just the way the suspension works. Uh, this is a really lightweight vehicle. It looks like it turns off the uh, midpoints here to shift the body over. 
and then it turns off the fronts and the rears. Huh. Okay. Well, no suspension glitch. It's just got extremely, extremely good handling. So, let's hop back in it here. I feel like we should go up the side of a cliff here to test out its rock crawling capabilities. So, let's go into rock crawl mode. Downwards thrusters, and let's do a bit of climbing here. I'm, I think we could just bomb this. Let's just go up it here. There we go. <laughs> what the heck? That was the quickest I've ever crawled something. Okay, I feel like we need to find a bigger challenge here. I might have wrapped myself around a tree. Hold on. Let go of the tree. It's a tree hugger. Okay, here we go. Let's go around here. Uh, let's go back into the lower mode. It seems to handle a bit better in that mode. And I feel like we can crawl. I feel like this thing would actually wall crawl or wall ride. Um, let's try one more hill. We'll start at the bottom of this one here and then we'll just shoot straight up it and see what happens. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get a similar result. This thing is so fast. This might be the world's fastest rock crawler. Uh, let's see. Let's go into one, two, and let's just bomb this hill. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I might have hit that too hard. Okay, let's go up this hill. <laughs> what the heck? Where are you going? <laughs> that's not rock crawling. That's just flying. Okay, let's do this again. This thing looks odd. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. That works so good. Actually, uh-oh. 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 I think I might have twisted the uh, left front suspension. No? Are we good? Let's go backwards. Go backwards. That actually works pretty good, too. So we can go down. Yeah, it just it sticks right to everything. Okay, let's go down. Go down. Up, 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 up. Go into race mode, turn off the thrusters. I think we might have up. Oh, I'm sorry, car. I think I might have I might have broken you. Alright, so apparently we're not supposed to bomb it really fast. Uh, we're supposed to just crawl up it. So let's uh let's do that again. Let's not carry as much speed because apparently I broke the front end of it. So let's go in rock crawl mode, downwards thrust, and let's just kind of crawl like a normal crawler. Ah, there we go. There we go. That actually that scales a lot nicer than trying to hit it like full force. Okay, so yeah, this thing conquers hills like a boss. That is a uh, that's cool. I'm actually really impressed by that. I got one more thing I want to try with it though. All right, this might be a little bit more intense test for it. I want to try this one more time just to confirm that this is probably one of the most awesome rock crawlers in scrap mechanic right now. So, let's see if we can basically go straight up the... Huh. I kind of left a twin mill out here. What the heck? Okay, let's just go straight up here. There we go. Look at that. It's so smooth. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it caught itself. Okay, we're good. We're good. Actually, we might need to... Uh... We've hit, like, the worst spot for this vehicle. This thing is high-centered, so I think we can, uh... I think we can get out of this. Let's see how... Let's see how we can do this here. There we go, rock it off, there we go, alright, so, let's go ahead, let's get out of uh, rock crawling mode, see if we can get those front tires to grip there, there we go, let's go back into crawling mode, there it goes, there we go, we're gonna edge up that, looking good, looking good, alright, let's go ahead and go over this here, and we're gonna go up one more, yeah, if we ever have a, a rock crawling competition in Multiplayer Monday, I kinda just wanna use this. Like, I wonder if that would be legal. I don't think it would be. Oh! <laughs> That's the only bad thing about using downwards thrusters. If you uh, get turned around, and when you're trying to stick to something, you do this. Hey, we're going to hit the wall here. <laughs> oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Rock crawler down. Rock crawler down. I think we've officially broken it. I just, yep, I broke the rock crawler. But yeah, that's definitely a, a really, really awesome rock crawler. I do want to, uh, I, uh-oh, what's going on here? It's, yeah, it's doing things. Okay, so yeah, I definitely want to thank Mr., I'm going to call him Ackman, or Ackman. I want to thank him for sending that. That is awesome. Uh, let's go on to the next creation. Okay, so we're going to briefly touch on this creation here. I am extremely terrible at flying things. Uh, this is by the same creator as the last one. It's a sci-fi compact flying machine. So he's all about the sci-fi stuff on his workshop, it seems like. Uh, we're going to try this out. This could be awesome. This could be terrible for me. Uh, let's see. Hmm. That is confusing looking. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. You know, this kind of reminds me a bit of one of Scrapman's flyers. 
That's cool though. I like the uh, angles that he's done with the pipes. It looks like it's got two seats here. What's up with the back seat? Is that why does that have a? What's up with the uh, sensors there? Maybe it's supposed to just look like a control thingy. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what am I looking at? Uh, I don't even want to try to guess that. All right, let's just jump in here. So, okay, so it does turn off WASD. Does it go forward W? Okay, forward W. It's got a reverse. I don't think it's got a reverse. So, let's hit the one key to make this thing hover. So, this is kind of like a hovercraft, but it also flies. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of neat. I like that. All right. Uh, is there any sort of stabilization, or does this thing just kind of, like, I'm worried about flipping it, so... Let's see. I know it had instructions on it, but I don't. I'm not good with instructions. Oh, that turns. That is. It's pretty sensitive. Okay. Let's. Uh. So that's three and four. Five is downwards. Six is upward. What's that? Okay. It does have a re reverse thrusters. Okay. So that's neat. All right. So let's die. Let's go ahead and hit that key there. Let's go forward. Oh. Oh, this thing's pretty fast. Oh, this is nice. No, this isn't so bad. I could get used to flying this, actually. That's got a nice feel to it. You kind of have to get used to the controls. It does remind me a bit of a Moombo control scheme, where you have, like, your pitch uh, buttons like this, and then you have your... Uh-oh, that might have been too much. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Man, this is what happens every time I try to show off. Like, hey, look at this. The sick flying skills, and then I, I do that, so it's rather embarrassing. But yeah, it does uh, remind me a bit of a Moombo control scheme, as far as... Like, you've got your basic hover, you've got your... Okay, that's your upwards. So, two's upwards. So, if we were to turn those off, we'll be... Yeah, we still want stabilize. So, we've got those. We can aim it down a bit. I wanted to try to see if we can just, like, do a barrel roll like that. Okay, so, yeah, you can do that. You just... you got to be prepared to catch it. So, let's do that. Let's give it some more upwards thrust, and let's take off here. Up, 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 up. I got this. I got this, folks. I promise you. I know what I'm doing when it comes to flying. Um, perfectly legit. That's actually cool. I, I feel like I could learn using this one. Try to make it like not barrel roll. <laughs> That's cool. I, I don't judge this creation off of me flying it. Uh, I feel like I could actually learn that. Uh, it's really nimble, really fast, and it turns. I mean, the rolling and stuff, it's pretty intense. I feel like I can learn off of that. Uh, I might try to do that in my free time and fly around a bit because I actually kind of want to learn how this thing works and how he's activating everything because it's a that's neat. It's also got an ext an extreme amount of thrusters. That's that's a lot. So yeah, I definitely want to thank uh, him for sending that. I would spend more time with this creation, but I'm just gonna embarrass myself. So yeah. Okay, so our last creation. Now, if you watched the last Scrap Mechanic episode, you saw our Bone Crusher creation. Well, somebody actually commented on the. Uh, the one before that, the first Hot Wheels episode, and said they had a Bone Crusher they made. And this is pretty cool. Now keep in mind, his Bone Crusher is complete vanilla parts. Mine, I did use modded parts, so that's why it looks quite a bit different. But for vanilla parts, I just wanted to showcase this because he did a pretty good job here. So let's go ahead, find the creator. Uh, I think I remember his name, but I want to make sure I get it right. I hate getting names wrong, which I do a lot. So this is the Baja bone shaker it's made by flynn 0120 it's a heavily modified version of bone shaker it's meant for off-road use kind of like mine i can see where he set everything pretty high uh he's got a pretty cool little suspension set up here he's got like the uh double suspension in the front that's pretty basic but he's got this uh double suspension in the back uh with these arms that come out and they're like free bearing so i uh, think of it like bone shaker it's just an off-road version of it still got the skull here in the front it does have the bone or the claws I'll call them claws, uh, the hands that come forward, and normally the, I think the hands kind of hold the lights, but it looks like he's got the lights up here, so let's go ahead and just drive it around for a bit. I just wanted to showcase that, because that was really neat that as soon as I, or it wasn't too far after I put that episode out, that people were like, hey, look at my uh, Hot Wheels that I have on my workshop too, and that's a, it's always really neat to see that, especially uh, when you create something and you're like really happy with it, and you're, you kind of wonder, well, did anybody else create something similar to this, and uh, somebody did. Whoa, that was a bounce. <laughs> that was impressive. That was a like a bunny hop bounce there. So yeah, that's a uh, that's pretty cool to see. I'm really glad that that video actually got out to people that have been creating stuff like this in Scrap Mechanic. So yeah, that's a uh, rather impressive for vanilla parts. It actually handles pretty good. I'm 
fairly impressed there. Let's uh, let's hit the jump here. Uh, we might, for the grand finale here, take this thing down the mega ramp since it is a Hot Wheel car. And, oh, oh, okay. It is a little drifty. A little drifty, but it does turn really nice. And, oh, well, we've done screwed this one up. Let's go ahead and just hit it anyways. Oh, you know, we almost made it. Oh, hold on. Hang in there. <laughs> Hang in. Uh, no, no. You might as well just give up. Uh, this thing's actually, uh, I guess it's because it's really light. Uh, it's made mostly out of, looks like, wood parts because I didn't even get that much, uh of a run up to the jump after I screwed it up the first time and I almost made it so this is a light vehicle I have a feeling this is gonna do pretty good if I can get it down the mega ramp that's the only problem so uh, let's give this thing uh, one run down the mega ramp real quick and try that out and see if it works alright so we are ready for our run down the mega ramp I thought we'd go ahead and try this since it is a Hot Wheels car so here we go Let's go ahead and give it a run. Are we going to get some bounciness? No, not too bad. Not too bad. Hit the ramp. Hit the ramp. Wow. That worked pretty good. <laughs> That's impressive. That, that was about as good as I could picture that mega ramp working. If this thing had a little bit more speed, heck, I think we could have cleared all the way almost to the other side. That maybe. I'm trying to figure out. I want to build a landing ramp at some point, and I think it's probably going to have to be right around this spot here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm really impressed with this creation. So, anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode of Viewer Creations here in Scrap Mechanic. Like I said, if you'd like to send anything to the channel, comment below, or you can just send it over to my email. I flashed it earlier, and it will be in the description if you want to do that. I want to thank everybody for sending all the cool stuff. Uh, go check out the creators. Uh, also, if you want to comment below, I'm still looking for new builds to do, new vehicle builds, structure builds, just pretty much anything here in Scrap Mechanic. So I do like your guys' feedback. Anyways, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.